SOAR was a partially reusable air-launched spaceplane launch system concept designed to launch small satellites on a suborbital or orbital trajectory. The vehicle, derived from the Hermes spacecraft developed by the European Space Agency, was planned to be built, launched, and operated by Swiss Space Systems. The spaceplane was planned to launch from an Airbus A300 aircraft named S30 Gravity Airliner. Once at altitude, the spaceplane was planned to separate from the aircraft and ignite an NK-39 engine developed by Russian Federal Space Agency. After fuel depletion at about 80 km altitude, the plane was planned to release its payload before gliding back and landing on Earth. The launch vehicle was planned to also have low Earth orbit capability when launched in conjunction with an expendable upper stage. Swiss Space Systems has contracted the Russian firm RKK Energia to develop the upper stage. With an upper stage, the spacecraft was planned to be able to launch a 250 kg payload into orbit. Swiss Space Systems claimed that the spaceplane could cost about one fourth than current suborbital launch costs. The spaceplane was notionally targeted to have its first test launch by 2017. However, following financial trouble, the company was declared bankrupt in a Swiss civil court, ending operations of the company. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development. Swiss Space Systems announced in 2015 that the airplane was planned to begin test flights in 2016. Additionally, by spring 2016 the company plans to begin drop testing of the spaceplane, which would include dropping a scaled-down boilerplate spacecraft which would autonomously land in an airport. As of September 2014, test firings of the engine were expected to begin in late 2015. The company also partnered with Bauman Moscow State Technical University in 2013. According to Explore Deep Space, this partnership was planned to enable the exchange of academicals between Russia and Switzerland. Topic: Missions. Topic: Formally planned. Clean Space 1, a 30 kg satellite designed to demonstrate technologies for space junk removal. Topic: <laughs> Completed. No missions of the space plane were completed. Topic: Future plans Topic <laughs> Human Space Flight In 2013, Swiss Space Systems declared their intention to eventually upgrade the spaceplane for human spaceflight. The company also announced a partnership with Thales Alenia Space for the design and construction of a pressurized compartment for the space plane's occupants. The company announced its intention to use a derivative of SOAR as a new high-speed human transport system instead of space tourism. According to Pascal Jorcy, CEO of the corporation, far from wishing to launch into the space tourism market, we want rather to establish a new mode of air travel based on our satellite launch model that was planned to allow spaceports on different continents to be reached in an hour.
Topic expansion The company created multiple subsidiaries to support a network of launch and landing sites, with locations in the United States, United Arab Emirates, and Croatia. A subsidiary of the company, S3 USA Operations Inc., was formed in early 2014. The company plans to use the retired Space Shuttle landing site at Kennedy Space Center for the operation of SAW. In 2015, Swiss Space Systems announced a partnership with the financial institution D&B Group to create a joint subsidiary named S3 Middle East. This partnership, according to Satellite Today, was planned to allow the company to attempt SAW launch certification in the United Arab Emirates. In March 2016 Armin Ferrati opened through his company D&B Groups a bank guarantee of $30 mil in favor of S3 but such a large sum didn't save S3 from bankruptcy. Mr. Armin Ferrati in September runway from Dubai and in November two criminal cases for fraud result opened in UAE against him.